Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was thinking of uh, what next phase of my life do I want to share with you? And I said, no, 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 no. There's a phase I didn't share with you. It, I think this vlog should be termed, damn, my 20s. <laughs> So I was having a conversation on my Instagram, uh, I was doing a live actually, and this is my handle. Uh, but I was saying, let's talk about life's pressures um, in relationships. And I thought the most pressure I ever had for relationships were 20s. And I think I went through the first phase of 20s being just about a party, a good time, then into the 25 to 30, where it was all about I'm running out of time. Oh my God, pressure from family, from friends, from what, 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 what. And then I said, okay, you know what? Today, maybe I want to just share with you the five things that maybe ruled my 20s. And the first thing that I would say is just the YOLO mentality, the you only live once mentality. Because in my early 20s, I mean, you couldn't tell me. If you said you were 14, my, I felt like a lifetime. I felt like, hey, let me just do what I want to do because I've got a lot of time ahead. And so because of that, I think I would use the word reckless. Um, in my early 20s, it was all about uh, where can I go? What can I do? How much blast and fun can I have? And somewhere in there, you're reckless. You're not responsible so much of you know, your life, of anybody's life. It's almost like you don't care. Actually, I think in the early 20s is when, you know, you wake up and you're like, yesterday was a blur. And I, I never used to drink alcohol at all. So you can imagine by the time life was a blur, sober. <laughs> it's a problem. But I thank God for that. Because I remember in my 20s, I was so reckless even with money. Me and my friends used to go out and eat maybe f twice a day. And that's Monday to Monday. So you know how the restaurants know you by name and your order? That was me. Like CJ's, you'd go to the CJ's at Oasis. My good God sit there you know the entire menu you eat you just just living life it's almost like life slowed down in my early 20s so yeah i'd say i was quite reckless when it came to relationships in my early 20s i think first of all I just starting to date because i was a late bloomer so relationships were let's have fun they weren't Let's think about marriage, about kids, about being together, staying together. In fact, if anything, when we saw you out of campus and maybe staying with a guy or married, we'd judge you. You know, because we're like, you're missing out on a whole lifetime. Why are you doing that? So I think there was no sense of maturity when it came to relationships in my early 20s. Um, not even in finances. It just, there was just, as I said, reckless. But what I wanted to talk to you about was the pressure that somehow arrives 25 all the way until 30. <laughs> first of all, me, I think I went through the, the first phase of change or pressure I went through was losing friends. It's that when you realize the people you've been hanging with, because you came with them through campus, you were having a good time. It's all about campus night and clothes and lipstick and hairdos. And those are things that really bonded you as friends or you had in common. Then I started to get the pressure of having to have real friends because you either gossiped about each other and you hated each other. You, now imagine if you're a group of five friends, the two girls are closer, so they've talked about the third girl. And so then you're judging the fourth girl. Then now the fifth one is neutral. Let me tell you the kind of friendships you have in your 20s. Oh, my good God. A mess just. And then the more one of you excels at life, succeeds, gets some money, uh, starts a different life. So one of you gets married, another one has a child. You start going separate ways. Then the hatred really starts. I feel like I lost my friends because of that. I lost friends because either one of them just didn't like that I was going a certain direction in my career. I lost because some felt I am married, I have kids, I have nothing in common with Flavia. I lost because some were just thinking, I just don't like her. Over time, I lost others because of the different cliques they were in. My good God, friendships in 20s is just a hard paper. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only one who can relate to that. 
But so that was the first thing that happened in my late 20s. I realized I was losing friendships, but also in losing friendships, I was making some really solid ones. You know, you enter your 30s with some more solid friends. Why? Because out of 30 friends, you went to 10. Out of 10, you went to five. And then before you know it, you've decided these are the three people I can stay with in life. So that was the first bulk of change that I saw. And then the next the pressure of finding the right one. Whoever told us is Mr. Right and Mrs. Right, really, lied to us. But then you start to date with intention at like 25 because you've either given yourself at 25, I'll be married, or at 28. Me, I'd given myself 28. So now you're dating with a purpose. You're not dating to get to know the person. You're dating the guy of, listen, this is what I want now in life. Can you give it to me? Yes, come. So I feel like I didn't get to know people a lot. Maybe there are people who I could have gotten to know better even as just friends or maybe to date. I really didn't give people time to get to know them because there was like a pressure. There's a pressure of man, time, it's a race, you're running to it. And outside of that pressure came the career one. You think getting to marriage is pressure. If you have worked, there's that pressure that you put on yourself as a career person. Because at, at 25 is when I felt like, wait, I've been working all these years. But there's nothing to show. Mm? Mm? Then you're like, I can't just be clapping for myself because of a car. Because I can pay rent. I want something more. I feel like at 25, I wanted more. You know? Then my dreams became bigger. The unfortunate bit of it is that because of the society I was raised in, when the pressure of wanting to maybe make more money or invest for myself started, I got the pressure of saying that, you know what? I'm an African girl. How is it that I'm going to want a house? I remember one time having a conversation with one of my uh, paternal uncle, aunties, sorry, uh, who said that, why are you dreaming of having a house for yourself? Get married and let the man do it for you. And that broke my heart because then that just meant that at the age I am, 25, then nobody's expecting me to excel at anything except getting a man to get married to. That's it. As in, if I can hit that milestone, they'll be excited for me. And so that confusion... Do I work on my career? Do I work on finding a partner? If I find a partner, then do I go back and work on my career? It was so much confusion that by the time I turned 30 and was getting married, I had to work backwards and start working back on my career and the things that I wanted and the dreams that I wanted. So if I was going to look back and talk to someone who's in their 20s now, what would I say? Or even look back to myself and advise myself, what would I say? First, that YOLO phase is okay, darling go through it. In fact, they tell us as adults that if you don't go through the phase where you're um, not responsible for anything, you party the whole night, you just do all sorts of... If you don't go through that reckless phase, you're going to do it later on in life and it will be more dangerous then. So if you are the happy-go-lucky person, go through that phase. That's my first piece of advice. Don't knock yourself. Don't be ashamed. Blast. Okay? In fact, blast and drain it out of yourself. <laughs> Two, I would advise you to I wouldn't say be so intentional on in making friends because also you're young. You, you, need, you need to take your time. But I would tell you to be an honest friend because I realized I also wasn't a good friend to some of these people. I understand why we are not friends anymore. That as much as they said ill things about me, I also said really nasty things about them behind their backs. So I wasn't all innocent. So I wish I had worked on being a good friend then because maybe I'd have had... Um, losing less friends now, you know, so yeah, as much as you're looking for honest friends in your 20s, work on being a good friend. Third, the maturity you're going to need later on in life has to start being built now. I know maturity in the sense of, oh, I'm responsible for ABCD. Maturity in terms of like tempers, you know, don't be so quick to anger. If you are that kind of person who has a short temper, work on it. Work on your ego. Uh, yeah, ego comes with tempers. Have you ever seen people who say, I don't lose battles? In, in Luganda, they say, Sisemba Nacho, you know? If we're in an argument, two people, I must win. You know, in your 20s, this is a good time to work on such things, on your ego, and say, you know what, these are my boundaries. This is where I can stop. This is what would tick me off. This is what would trigger me. Because you're going to need that for maturity later on in life. You know, when you get into a marriage, then you, you need to mature as far as forgiving is concerned. Don't, don't start the forgiving later on in life. Start it early, you know. Start to forgive others, forgive yourself, those things. 
But speaking of forgiving yourself, maybe this is the time that as much as you're having a good time in your 20s, this would be a good time to start, I know, you're going to say it with me, self-love. There's so much I didn't learn about myself or accept about myself early on that I'm like, oh my God, I wish I just had someone to shake me and just tell me, Flavia, appreciate yourself. I see friends of mine who are not even in their 20s, just early 30s, who are thinking to themselves they're not enough. They're not enough because they don't have someone in their life. They're not enough because they haven't done so much with their lives. But who, who's giving you that scorecard of you haven't done so well? Isn't it you? You're the one who tells yourself whether you have, you have done well in life or not. So I would say the self-love I'm talking to you about now is accepting yourself. You know, accept your flaws, accept your strengths, accept your weaknesses very, very early on in life. Why I'm saying this, you're going to meet people in your life, whether friends, whether intimate partners who are going to define your life for you. Why? Because you didn't define it for yourself. Yes, that's why you find people who are in relationships and once they leave, they're bruised to a point where they've been defined so much by that bad situation that that's who they become. They become bitter. They become unhappy because they didn't take time to define themselves, you know? So if you're in your early 20s or you have got that time, please work on yourself. Start to get to know your weaknesses, your strengths, your flaws, the good, the bad, and accept it. Say, I, I know this is, this is who I am. I accept myself and nobody will knock me. You know how comedians say they make fun of their bad features you know, not so nice features on their face or body so that nobody else can make fun of you. You know, if you say, I, I have a, I don't know, I have a forehead. <laughs> Every time I take pictures, people are like, ooh, forehead gang. But I will be the first to make fun of that because I accept it, you know. So same thing with self-love. If you accept your flaws, people aren't necessarily going to make fun of you. Uh, or when you meet someone who comes into your life, they're adding on versus taking away from you. And they don't meet an empty canvas that they start writing a story for you. I know I'm coming close. I feel like hugging you. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're in your early 20s, yes, don't, don't forget any of those things. Have a good time. Enjoy. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a hurry. Everything you want in life, if you work hard at it, you will find it. So please enjoy your life so you don't look back and say, I regret the things I missed. I regret the friends I didn't make. I regret the bad behavior I had. Just, you know, with caution, enjoy your life, okay? I use the word maturity in this vlog. And I'm hoping in the next vlog I can tell you how I have, over time, matured in certain situations, okay? Bye.